Salam and peace. Welcome to Dawah Dude. Today, inshallah, in our Polish or Dawah James collections, I'd like to share this uh, very short clip from uh, Hamza Darren. And um, he's explaining the predestination. Uh, I, al I also posted a video a long time ago regarding the predestination explained by Sheikh Uthman. So you can find in my collection too. So this is something uh, very uh, new idea in a way to explain it. And I think, I believe that this was the first uh, Dr. Imran from EF Dawa also mentioned that. So Hamza actually explained uh, um, to a person who asked the question about that. So let's play this clip. And uh, by the way, if you have not shared the uh, channel that would do so please subscribe share like and leave a comment assalamu alaikum brother hamza how are you wa alaikum salam alhamdulillah how are you my sister alhamdulillah brother brother i had two questions so one question was that um <laughs> uh, about the predestination um about that uh, before the child is born like comes into the world like physically uh it's like uh it, either he would be a kafir or a like other he would <laughs> no <laughs> no brother andrew <laughs> So at either he would be a uh, like either he would end up in hell or heaven. It's already decreed. So I had a question: Is that then what's the use of doing the actions or trying and stuff like that if it's already oh, decreed? Oh, oh okay. Um, all right, I'll say again to you what I said to somebody earlier. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't happen because it's written. It's written mm -hmm. because it happens. Okay. Mm, okay. Yeah. Does that yeah, make sense to you? Yeah, it makes sense a bit. So, so for example, I'm I'm eating this pizza today. Yeah? yeah. Did Allah write in my decree before I was born that I was going to eat pizza today because He wanted me to eat pizza today, or yeah. was it was it written down because Allah knew on this day I was going to be eating pizza? Allah knew that on that day you would be. Mm. Exactly. Because why? Because Qatar isn't fixed. Yeah, your risk isn't fixed. Mm. Yeah, because Allah says you can raise and lower your risk according to your effort, according to your dua. So if you can change your risk, that means your Qatar isn't fixed. But, and there's the mind, mind messer up. <laughs> so your Qatar isn't fixed, but your Qatar is fixed. So but whatever decision... Is still fixed? Like, isn't it still written at the end of it all? No, no, no. But, but if you can change it, yes, I'm saying to you. So you can change your, you can change your risk, yeah? Hmm. Which yeah. means your risk isn't fixed. So you're saying that we can change the Qadr to Dua? No, you can't change the Qadr. You're effectively the author of your Qadr. Okay. You will, you will be, you will determine what gets written. Okay, but my determining would is already written, right? Because it's already happened for Allah, so yes. Yeah. But, but you are responsible for what got written, through your actions, through your choices, through your efforts, through your du'as, through whatever you did. Allah knew you were going to do those things, and thus okay. that's what got written. Yeah, and uh, my second.